Almost 80% of breast cancers occur in women over the age of 50. Other risk factors include family history, being overweight, alcohol consumption, high breast density, race, and many others. Breast imaging and early detection of breast cancer have evolved immensely over the last 25 years. Yet doctors still recommend that all women should be aware of any physical changes in their breasts. I had a, a pulling feeling um, when I'd lift heavy things or play tennis, so I knew something was physically not right. Being aware of your breasts is an important thing, and many cancers still today are found by the woman herself, so it's important not to ignore any new f lump you might feel in your breast or any new discharge you may have from the breast. Patients without any known risk factors over the age of 40 should get a routine mammogram every year. Okay. A mammogram takes a few minutes and involves taking two-dimensional x-rays of the breasts. Unfortunately, my breast cancer didn't show up on mammogram. It really only showed up, you know, later on um, ultrasound and then MRI. Some breast cancers are not detected in a routine mammogram, especially in women with dense breasts. Another useful tool in breast cancer detection is ultrasound, which is another easy, non-invasive procedure. Well, ultrasound is the best radiologist's second best friend, so we use it all the time in the diagnostic clinic to evaluate findings that we see at mammography, to evaluate patients that have palpable lumps that they feel and that's brought them to the clinic. This ultrasound shows us detail of the inside of the breast, allows us to diagnose cysts, which is a common problem for women, but also solid tumors. Magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, is also used for screening, but mostly in high-risk patients. For a breast MRI, the patient is usually given an IV with a contrast solution, then lies on the MR table with her breasts in a device called a breast coil. And around 3,000 images are taken of the breasts. MRI is particularly useful for example, in, for cancer patients in, in determining how large the lesion is. We see more things on MRI than we do on ultrasound and mammography. It's the most sensitive test that we have for cancer detection. The next step usually after that is, is a, a biopsy of some kind with a needle. Uh, we do that very often. Uh, we can use guidance from mammography, we call that stereotaxic guidance, or we can use ultrasound guidance, which is more commonly done, uh, if we can see the finding on ultrasound. If we can only see the finding or the abnormality on MRI, then we use an MRI-guided biopsy. And then we take a little piece of tissue um, from that finding on ultrasound and send it off to the pathologist, and then checks it out and tells us what, what the lesion represents.